Hi there. In this video I'll be talking about the electromagnetic spectrum, the properties that they have in common, how they're detected and putting them in order of increasing wavelength or frequency. Here's a question from the 2016 National 5 paper. The diagram shows some parts of the electromagnetic spectrum in order of increasing wavelength. Part A then asks us to state a detector of infrared radiation. Now the marking scheme allows many possible answers, but I'm going to go for a photodiode, which would be connected to a meter. You should be able to name a detector for each of the electromagnetic waves, and this is something I'll talk about in a separate video. Part B asks us to state which radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum has a wavelength shorter than X-rays. So remember that we're told that part of the electromagnetic spectrum is shown in order of increasing wavelength. That's from left to right. You should also know that, as we go from right to left, as the wavelength decreases, the frequency increases. To answer this question, you need some way of remembering the order of the electromagnetic spectrum. Here's one that some pupils I used to teach in Aberdeen came up with. It's an order of increasing frequency. In other words, decreasing wavelength. And goes like this. Roger Moore invents very useful Xbox games. In case you don't know who Roger Moore is, he's an actor who used to play James Bond. Look him up. Although it won't come up in the exam. The R stands for radio waves and the G for gamma rays. And obviously, this is the answer to our question. C part 1 says, an electromagnetic wave has a frequency of 1.2 gigahertz. Show that the wavelength of this wave is 0.25 metres. Now, it's important in questions that ask you to show something that you write down all of the working involved, the equation, substitution and final answer with unit. In this question, you should start with the information you're given about the wave, its frequency, and end with the expected answer, a wavelength of 0.25 metres. Here's how we start. The equation V equals F lambda. A wave's speed is equal to its frequency in hertz multiplied by its wavelength in metres. We're trying to find wavelength lambda, so we can rearrange the equation like this. Lambda is equal to V divided by F. Now the speed of all electromagnetic waves in a vacuum and in air is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 metres per second. If you forget this number, then you'll find it in the data sheet at the front of the exam, written as the speed of light in air. The frequency of the wave is given, but you need to know that 1.2 GHz is 1.2 gigahertz. That's 1.2 times 10 to the power of 9 hertz. So when we substitute these values into the equation, we find that we get the expected wavelength of 0.25 metres. Hopefully this question has shown you that you need to know your prefixes, milli, micro, kilo, mega and giga. The last part of the question, C part 2, asks us to identify the part of the spectrum that this wave belongs to. This arrow is drawn at the point where the wavelength is equal to 1 metre. If we move left to the next point in the scale, 10 to the power of negative 2 metres, is 1 divided by 10 squared, which is one hundredth of a metre. And our answer of 0 0.25 metres is obviously between these two points. So the wave must be a microwave. That's all for now, but remember that there is another video on the electromagnetic spectrum where I go into a little more detail. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.